Hello, my name is Tom Pagacz and in this video I will show you how I am using Creator Kit component command bar. So let's begin with the invitation to my YouTube channel, which is over here, and to the GitHub repos. Today we will be working with Service Desk, so you can download it download it and import to your environment and to the boredom I recommend you to install creator kit and once you will have it uh, you can open reference app this one is model driven app and point to command bar component this component is now in preview so I highly recommend you not to use this one in production application but for now we can play with this uh, quite nice actually uh, component so with this component user is able to easily target action that is generic so it's really easy to, to understand what's underlying of this, uh, of this action and what is not necessary, maybe either overflow or it may be even disabled or both combined, disabled and overflow. So let's focus on the, uh, on the existing, in this service desk, command bars um, there are two so first one is on top left top uh, of the page and uh, for the uh, for the beginning on the app start uh, two of them are um, enabled and visible so Azure tenant overview is launching the external URL which is concatenation of variable and, and item key. Item key is explained in the code in here. So what's uh, this component? This component is basically a representation for the table of objects. And in this object, um, we have uh, item key, uh, which is rep which have a representation in string so then we can um, point to this uh, item key because um, the action that sorry <laughs> that stand for this is once we select this um, this will be command bar one dot selected dot item key um, and on on top of this item key we can um, we can place a switch I will show you later on but for now let's uh, try what this can uh, do um, with the second action we will be targeting the another component which is dialog in here uh, but for this video we will be focusing on the command bar so what's overflow is the actions three of them are target uh, the other dialog box and the back is targeting the set of actions that is going to reset the the whole page to the ground zero to the state that we can start with another actions and for the galleries we have a set of actions which is um, which are shown as a child component for the parent action. So it's not um, horizontal, it's rather vertical in here. Um, and in here, um, oh, basically how to target this. Uh, if we want to target this, we need to call item parent key. So if we have, for example, a parent key for this for this action let's call this command bar to see how it looks like in items item key action and show members here it's going to call item parent key action simple 
as is. And uh, besides, I am uh, going to um, to apply another tab to easily uh, visually see, uh, as in JSON, uh, that this one is a child component to uh, to what's above. Mm, okay, so let's get back to the. Um, to the page in play mode. In here, the same trick, we can call the URL that is going to take us to the Azure members page for the particular group. So this one will be retail. So here we go, Azure retail members. Let's play with uh, something else. So mark eight projects theme for action. Let's call overview. Mark eight project theme overview because what's in here is a simple concatenation of the um, URL with the item key. So item key it's named in the same way as Azure is naming those uh, tabs and then uh, we need group ID so uh, we have variable um, which contain the GUID a representation of ID for the group and if you go to Azure and see um, how this is construct um, so this URL differ only within the same group it differ only with this uh, this part of the URL so you can easily replace it and if you will name your item key with the same uh, string that it's used in here, you can concatenate your URL uh, as easily as it is in here. So um, those are actions that are going to take us out of the application, but we can easily adjust the part of um, visible screen. So for example, let's show members for this group. We have 17 members for me, uh, for the Mark 8 project team. And we can see all these people in here. In uh, edit mode, it will look like that. This one is the different group, retail, for example. And uh, this action adjusted our main gallery to squeeze it only for the selected row to show the selected row and then uh, it made visible the second gallery that is going to show us the uh, members this gallery is a full gallery to show us members of this of this group but as well we have the similar in the people picker so if we call action um, if we call action add members but what's going on we cannot call it from here um, because you can simply prevent this from happening if you don't want to call the um, colliding actions uh, you can make it um, you can compose like parallel table so uh, you can switch on either if or switch it depends how you will construct this um, this uh, variable uh, you can switch on tables to hide it, uh, this um, uh, this particular action so let's for now hide the um, screen that is allowing us to to select people to remove them from the from the group so we can use either hide members or back both of them will call the same action so user is provided with the possibility to use the um, the command from uh, from two places now the table has switched so we can go to add members to this group. So we are provided with a different set of 
uh, of components uh, in here. So still we have a gallery with people that, but this one is uh, can contain uh, much more on the same space, actually half of the space. And command bar is going to show us only the reference to the external URL. So from this um, visible page, um, you are not able to uh, switch over to anything else. You can use this back button and reset it to default. Uh, so that's all in terms of how it looks like, how it behave and what is possible to achieve. Of course, you can adjust colors in here, but for now we can go to the, uh, to the edit mode and see uh, what's going on in here. So two main actions for this component is one is items, what to show. So as I told you, this is a table of objects and uh, in objects we need key, icon name. This is a string representation of uh, icon which is shown. So not everything is uh, explained in, in here in the documentation, but you can uh, try to, to target a different uh, icon. I found uh, three icons that are not present in, in description for this um, for this component but uh, you can play with this then display name so what user will be able to see string representation and string representation of uh, color uh, you can disable uh, it either uh, as a comment making it comment or you can simply delete it uh, what we can have it uh, in here, we can have a additional property like item enabled. So we need boolean condition to make it either disabled or enabled and uh, item overflow. So it may um, use the boolean outcome to make it hidden in ellipses or visible on the on the main part of of the component. So uh, in the command bar on top of the page, I don't. I'm not using the child parent um, composition, but in here, command bar two in items, I'm using this one. So for example, the main action is called action, but item key for this is action uh, without capital A. And well, how I'm calling this? I'm calling this by referencing to item parent key action without capital E. So the command bar will be uh, able to to place this show members, add members and all of this Azure reference not uh, horizontally but rather vertically uh, below the action itself. So that's basically all in terms of uh, items and the second uh, property function uh, of this action is uh, is on select and on select um, I couldn't find uh, information how to play this in the documentation maybe I am missing something um, but I use the switch this one is working pretty well so I am switching over command bar one dot selected dot item key. So the selected item key will tell this function uh, what to do. Uh, so uh, this overview I already explained. We are launching the external URL targeting to the Azure. Uh, help will um, change the variable to make the dialog visible. The same with remove, export, back because action 
will be taken from the dialog. I don't want to user to take action like uh, remove user or add user uh, basically on clicking to the uh, to the command bar itself because I want to have a additional confirmation uh, that user is sure uh, that everything is is okay because on dialog we can provide the user with uh, information what is selected uh, which user uh, on which user we will take action and so on and so forth so uh, back action is simply targeting the set of actions that is going to reset the uh, reset the state of of app to the default like on start uh, and the same thing happened in the second command bar so let's go to on select for the second one so there we have also switch over the same item key so we are targeting the azure sites and then for show members we are calling something which is explained in the different uh, video so you can go to my youtube channel and this one will be explained in the um, video create bulk operation in here so let's get back to the Uh, application to the code and uh, okay everything uh, in here is described uh, in the other videos so I uh, will be not explaining this now that's all for this video thank you for watching I hope you enjoy and I wish you a great day